And now a story you'll see only on News Channel 5. Juveniles escape, steal a car, and then crash, and a gun is fired. Yeah, authorities say it's a miracle no one was hurt or killed during this, and now the Wilson County Sheriff wants some answers. News Channel 5's Nick Paris, live from the Five Alert Center with the exclusive details on mm -hmm. what's going on in this investigation. Uh, and uh, Nick, uh, I know you have some security video right. that, that shows what went down here. It's pretty shocking to see. Yeah. Ben and Amy, yeah, the, the video is jarring, and this is a developing story still this morning. I've learned that four juveniles had escaped Saturday night from the Rosswood Youth Academy that in Nashville, stole a car, and then led a chase on I-40 that led to a wreck 10 miles later on Beckwith Road in Mount Juliet. Take a look now and listen. All right, you see that car hit a tight corner known in the neighborhood as Devil's Curve, flipped and crashed, stopping just inches it was from a home where there was a family getting ready for bed. Then the four teens, they got out of the vehicle and run, and then as you heard there, someone right there yelled, don't run, stop, and then fired a gunshot. All right, no one was hit. Amazingly, no one hurt in the crash, and it's not clear where that round that was fired actually ended up. You can imagine the family in that home was very scared and upset, that video coming from the home. Sheriff Robert Bryan, I've talked to him, tells me that he's still gathering details, but he does not believe that law enforcement in this case was involved in the chase. His deputies, he said, just responded to a report of the crash and then caught the four juvies who are now in custody. So who ended up chasing the four of them and firing that gunshot, the sheriff says he'll be talking with the staff at the Youth Academy first thing this morning. So, Ben, more to come. Yeah, but lots of questions, I mean, left to be answered here, Nick. I mean, this is this is just a strange case, and that video makes even more questions. Mm -hmm. And we know that Rosswood Youth Academy was actually in the news earlier this yeah, year, we'll right? Yeah, we'll be reaching out to Rosswood as well, and uh, you're correct about that. Uh, three juveniles escaped from the academy just this past January. Took a couple of days before they got them back in custody, and apparently that was not the first time they've had issues like this.